Welcome to Mac Helpers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and manipulate photos in Keynote for your presentations. So open up Keynote, open up a presentation, and let's just go ahead and add a new slide. So down here on the left, I'm going to click the plus button, and let's just do um, let's do this one right here. So I don't need this text box, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that off there. And so to add a photo, all you do is click the plus icon, and then across the top here, the little square with the money or with the the music symbol, that is going to be your media from your actual uh, iDevice that you're using, whether it be an iPhone or an iPad or iPod Touch. So go ahead, and I'm just going to click Camera Roll, and let's go ahead and find a basic photo. I thought this photo was hilarious with Sylvester and Chuck Norris. So. Um, so now that the photo is here, you can use, uh, once you click on it, it's going to bring up the little circles around it, the little blue dots. Now you can sit there and adjust how the image looks and the size of it so you can make it the full size of this. And that using those guidelines, those are that's going to be dead centered on your presentation. And so let's go ahead and shrink it a little bit so I can kind of show you a little bit more. So to manipulate this photo, click the details brush. And to go from the style, it gives you a couple of different preset options, or you can actually style options. You can turn a shadow on, so that, that kind of so you can see how it's kind of putting different textures around the box itself, around the picture itself. Make sure the image is selected. You can go under style options, and this is um, you can turn on reflection, so it kind of adds that little uh, like it's actually looking at a mirror from the bottom there. Click on border again. You can turn the border on. And you could change the color, so let's do like a green border, and then you could adjust the the width of the border itself, just like before. You can change it to different styles, and they also have more of like a a picture frame style images for the border. So that one, you could do the picture kind of like in a picture frame there. Uh, you got this little cra crazy looking box, uh, and that's kind of it for um, stylizing an image. Now I want to show you some more things about it a little bit using a different image. So go back to your uh, little square, go back to the media button, and let's go ahead and click on, I think this one would be a good one to kind of use. So we got this guy here, and let's see how he's got the white box background. So what's cool is Apple has this thing called Mask and Instant Alpha. So to do this, click back on the paintbrush, the style button, and click on image, and then a mask is where you can actually kind of delete specific things off the image. So if I click done there, I got rid of that. Click undo to redo that. Go back to mask, edit mask again. Let's go ahead and shrink it up a little bit. So you can, and then you can use this slider icon to adjust the image size itself. So you can create a little image box and kind of really dial it down to how much that box is cut out. Click done. And if you don't really like how that looks, go back there and just hit reset mask. If you click reset mask, it's going to automatically bring it back to normal. Now, I'm going to turn on instant alpha just to show you how this works. So instant alpha, you can delete specific things off the background. So let's say I wanted to get rid of this white background so it looks like just the, car, the guy in the car sitting on there. So once that uh, there, you can see this little thing that says drag across, drag across colors to make transparent. So how that works is just click and hold where you want it and then it's going to actually start drawing around it. So it's pretty good. I'm only at 7% but if, look how it's kind of deleted everything behind it. Now you click that and if you hit done, now that guy looks like he's just sitting directly on the slide itself. But see you can really get detailed with it. Now hit Insta Alpha again and now you can go through and kind of go behind the guy and see how it's drawing that right behind him. You can delete that out of there, delete it out of this one too, and delete it even out of this one. Now hit done, and now it looks like he's literally on that page, and it's just him. There's no white background or anything like that. So that's how Instant Alpha works. And then the last thing I want to show you is if you click on the arrange. Now what this means, move to front to back. I'll show you. I'll move this guy over here on top of these guys, just to kind of give you an idea of how that works. You can move it from behind, forward to back of it. So it's just kind of like how it layers on top of each other. Then you could also hit flip vertically or flip horizontally, change the direction of them. And the last thing is lock. So when you lock something, it actually locks it into place. You can't do anything with it. And it gives, if you can see this, it's got little X's uh, in a gray circles around it. So instead of blue like they normally are, when you can move it around, it's locked in that place. So when you click the, the style brush, the details brush, it doesn't allow you to do anything because it says it's locked. So you can click unlock and now you can move it back and 
those, those circles now turn to back to blue. So that's basically it for adding and manipulating photos in Keynote. So if you have any questions, make sure to email us at info at your Mac helpers or uh, go to our website, yourmachelpers.com, and click the Help tab. Thanks.